Hey everybody, it's Pluto and welcome back to Pikmin 4 for the demo. This may be a bit odd, but I've started a second file and I've collected the bare minimum uh, Sparklium to be able to explore a little bit more because I want to show what else is in the demo that you might not reach because of the way it's set up. Which, if you're a completionist, might make it a bit difficult to explore everything. And it's weird because there's no way to go back a day. So if you want to do this after you've reached the end of the demo, you have to start a new file, basically. Unless there is a way to go back in days that it's just not obvious at all. But let's go into it again, because I cannot think of anything other than Pikmin 4 after starting playing it. Uh, also, something I should mention is, depending on how much sparkling you have, It limits what abilities you can unlock in the gear. So all the gear that I've unlocked previously, I do not have now. So I can't charge my Pikmin. I'm not immune to the elements. Specifically, um... What's it called? Ice. Cool, the cool. Although I think it might also be effect, like resistant to fire as well, possibly. But I don't know. Uh, but yeah. So we can't get those until we get more Sparklium, so that's just fine, probably. Also, I should probably bring out some Pikmin or something. This is my current stats for this file. I've collected a lot more yellow Pikmin, as you can probably see. Also, sending um, Ochi to get stuff is actually quite helpful because he will always take... Like, if the pellet color is yellow... He'll take it in for yellow Pikmin, basically, so he'll he'll be very helpful for that. So if it's like red or yellow, he'll he'll make sure it's what it needs to be to get the most Pikmin out of it, which is quite nice. No, never mind. What? He was doing it so much before. Have I just been lucky so far, or maybe it's just b based on the stats on who has the less amount? So I guess it's just gonna take it to the least. To make sure you get more of them. Okay, so never mind, but now I know, so. At least that's something. Also, I like that you can just walk near Pikmin to get them, you don't have to actually touch them. It's gonna make things work very differently than they have in previous games, but that's alright. But anyway, let's go back to the area. So I've left all the. Uh, like, I got the bare minimum treasures. So that there's. I probably wanna. What, what I probably wanna do is basically rush all the dungeons, and then go clean up everything else I've already collected, basically. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue on this file or on the uh, on the previous file, when uh, the full game comes out, but yeah. I just wanted to show what I've, what I've, whatever I can, basically. And also I'm enjoying playing Pikmin, so I want to play more Pikmin 4. I was actually playing the Pikmin 3 demo because I don't have the Switch version of Pikmin... Three. I have the Wii U version, but not the Switch version. And actually, it's qu it's quite interesting to comp compare the two because they have very similar features. But I think Pikmin Four is actually smoother running in the way that the functions work, which is odd because I thought it would be the other way around. It probably depends on your taste, though. So anyway, let's go ahead and get some Pikmin out, and then we can figure out what we want to do. I did almost complete the other bridge up this way because I wasn't sure if I had completed it yet up that way, but yeah. Also, if we look at our map, well, I can't see it right now. I think also I was wrong about the icons being the down arrows and the side arrows. I think the side arrows means that there's a path you can actually take. Also, is that bridge accurate or is that just the icon? It's probably just the icon. When there's a path that you can't take yet that you will eventually need to take, you'll have the sideways arrows. So this gate here actually showed me the sideways arrows before I destroyed it, so. Uh, but anyway, let me go back this way. Because I want to quickly also get this base over here. Because this base is probably going to be good to have. Just need to make sure I take these things out first. Probably. And then lock on. It also might be good to rush things a little bit more. Because we learned that in the the tutorial area. Which there's a lot more to that to that tutorial area. And it tells you a bit more how, about how to play when you're playing as Olimar. But yeah, I didn't really do a good job with that, apparently. Oh well. I'm surprised that- No, it did work. 
So you normally just throw the normal amount of Pikmin to go onto a, a thing to carry, which is really good, I guess. But also makes getting more than enough weird as well, as I can't charge this, which is really just kind of sad. I'm gonna let them do that. But I'm also gonna go up this way now. They have this base. It's, it's very nice having the multiple bases. In this level, at the very least, they aren't very far apart from each other. But I'm sure in later levels, it's gonna be really interesting the way that all this works. So, also there's another ball bulb up here. So I'm gonna try and get everything else first. Also, this is interesting that those try to line up a little bit. They can't just go the same path. Or no, different, different paths at the same time. They just have to figure it out. Alignment. Also, it's really, it's really strange how they don't just go on to two things that they can actually speed up. That's kind of good, but I would kind of prefer that they just went onto things if they needed it. Maybe at some point they will do that. Also, why am I missing Pikmin? I think I probably just left a whole bunch over here. They didn't just go back because they didn't have anything to carry back. So, let me actually ride for this. Gonna see if this is actually really effective against this ball bulb. It might not be, which is why I'm a little bit hesitant to do this. Probably wanna get behind it. Go! There we go. Let's get that back to base. Red, okay. Let's also build this bridge. Is that enough? That is 20 out of 23, so let's do that. And now that we enough. They will keep going back and forth until they have everything they need, but yeah. Also, something else I should probably mention is this little patch of leaves over here, which is uh, uh, probably intended to teach you about how you can hide in things when enemies are around so they don't just chase after you. They might still chase after you, but possibly less. Also, can I do that? Maybe, or not. Because you can actually take these out. They are an enemy that you can take back to the onion. But it doesn't appear to be working that well for me. At the moment, anyway. They usually stop on something, like that. So that's what I should be doing. But anyway. I probably don't need to get as many Pikmin as I'm currently collecting. But that's alright. That's all right. Let's see how the bridge is looking. Also, I love the way that these bridges look once they're built. Because before it was like, chips and stuff. But now that it's actually built, it looks so smooth. I just wonder how strong this mud is going to be when it rains, because I'm sure that's going to be a thing. Also, hello. Red alert! I see something. Or someone. And who is that next to them? It doesn't look like any of our rescue officers. Hey, what's going on here? What are they planning to do with that castaway? We need to rescue them, and quick! Blue Toad, Ochi, let's go! New cave discovered. Also, there's the blue onion right there. I don't think I can get it anywhere, unfortunately. I think I could probably throw a pick one across, but I don't think there's any way to get it where I need it to go. Although, maybe if I get Ice Pikmin out... Maybe? That's very hopeful, but it's possible. Also, there's a thing in this as well. So I'm sure they're going to just hide collectible things in other things throughout the game. That seems to be all that. There's also a pumpkin over there we can get, but we have to throw a yellow Pikmin onto this to weigh this down. I'm not going to do that at the moment though, because I might accidentally run out of demo. I kind of have to figure out what I'm doing to be able to get everything done. If I can get everything done. Because I'm worried if I go into a dungeon at all, it's gonna basically get all the collectibles there and then it's gonna end the end at the end of the day. Need to reorganize your squad. Press Y and then up to disband it. Don't need to do that. Uh, but anyway, let me see if I can... Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Ah, it's fine. Actually, can I... I can't reach up there. Just gonna hold them back, I guess. Do that. Onions really do come in all kinds of different colors. Could there be one for every Pikmin type? Maybe. We don't know yet. 
Oh, it needs 20 Pikmin. I don't have enough Ice Pikmin for that, unfortunately, because that's the only way to get it across the water, I think, at the moment. Also, what is this direction thing? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I want to go into this dungeon just yet. I want to try the other dungeons first, if I can. So let me actually re- no, I guess I don't need to worry about readjusting my Pikmin, because you can readjust your Pikmin as you go into the dungeon, so... Uh, but anyway, let me try and hurry up this. Also, maybe before I go into a dungeon, there's also another ab above ground area that I can explore up this way. Let me just check what Pikmin this wants. Crackling Cauldron. I was feeling hotter than usual t t uh, in my spacesuit. And when I looked down, the ground was on fire. I panicked. But a red Pikmin just gave me a sidelong glance. Totally unfazed, even the as the fire licked them. They're clearly capable of more than just skillful skillful attacks. I'm concerned that that's going to actually hurt me if I go in there. And I don't have enough Sparklium to unlock the Fireproof, maybe? If that's even what that is. Also, I really should have been a little bit closer with my my base. But I don't think there's any... I think they're both pretty distant, basically. But there's a whole area across here that I might want to explore. Can I jump across the edge? Yeah, no, it prevents you. That's a shame. Yeah, there's a whole area up here. If I look at the map, we can see the enemy icon there. So I, I don't think I've pointed that out. There are actually just like other icons. Those these icons are enemies. Those icons are Pikmin. Also, what is that? Is that like a? It has like a special icon underneath it. It's interesting. But anyway, I'm going to have to wait for these Pikmin to hurry up. I found also that the flowered Pikmin are a lot faster. Like, so much faster. And that might be a good reason to actually have two-player co-op thing enabled to just give you some nectar to power up your Pikmin. I'm not going to do that now, I don't think. I, was, I thought about it, but no. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've already said what I think about it. I just hope that in the full release they actually have uh, full multiplayer. Because I think for the demo at least they're not going to do that. Possibly. Hopefully. Let's grab those two. I think I'm going to grab these back to the base. Unless there's another base up this way. Which is also possible. Also there's that there that I can, might be able to get into. From up here maybe? Or maybe not. Guess we'll find out as we go forward. I love how open this game feels. <laughs> I'm especially interested to see how this is going to be in the full release. Another cave. Is this a tunnel? Or oh, so there is another base up there. How can I check if this is a tunnel? I'm assuming it is. There's also a boss up there. Yeah, I don't know what to do, but I might... I might go into this, I guess. Uh, a quiff, uh, for a summit. I found a hole that should lead out to the top of the mountain, but the inside was more convolted. Convolted? Oh, than expected. And only now do I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I ever make it out of this place, I'll deserve a good rest. Uh, interesting. Two wild Pikmin types we don't have yet. I'm going to leave that for the moment. I'm going to come back to that, probably. I'm actually honestly thinking about starting the next day, just so I can have as much time as I need to do the dungeons and stuff. I might just quickly move my base, maybe? Also, something else I need to point out, uh... Ochi cannot swim, <laughs> just in case you didn't know. In case you tried to swim across with Ochi. Ochi cannot swim. I tried it. It didn't go well. <laughs> I mean, Ochi just jumped out of the water, but, you know... Just like another Pikmin that you have to call back, basically. Uh, but yeah, I think I am going to do what I said I was going to do. Probably, just so I have enough time outside of the dungeon to do everything else. So let's do that. I guess I still need to be quick in the dungeons as well, because it still uses up a sixth of the time.
I didn't know if there was anything new there, but I just, just skipped over all of it. So hopefully there wasn't, wasn't anything new there. You can skip a lot of things with the plus and minus buttons. It's also quite funny early on, because when you first meet Colin and you skip, it like gives you the next thing, but Colin's just still laying on the ground. It's really good. <laughs> really funny, that is. Anyway, uh, let's head back then. Nine percent exploration. Okay, so I think I'm going to do this in the order that feels appropriate, although I think I've already gone out of order from what the game intends you to do. Because I think it wants you to do the dungeons that you can't jump to before you can do the dungeons that you can jump to. Also, I don't know why I did that. I didn't really need to do that, but it's fine. I'm writing anyway, so... So I think the first dungeon that we can do, before the dungeon that we did last, which we can actually get to without having to jump to, because you can break down this wall over here and then you can get to this dungeon. So I think this is the next one that we we're supposed to do after the first one. Crackling Cauldron, let's go. Suggested types, well we've got those, so let's go. Okay. Also, there's a thing right there, so we need to be careful of that. I think I will try to get the enemies... No, nah, I'll try not to get the enemies back to the base. I'll get all the treasures, but I'm going to try and limit everything that I take back to the base, basically. Also, can I quick wipe to dismount? Yes, I can. I don't have to hold down the button for that. Just something I need to get used to, probably. Okay, full squad, full speed. I could also break this gate down in multiplayer as well, the co-op. Which is a little bit strange, but it's also, yeah, I don't know, it's a, it's a choice. I just want proper multiplayer, that's all I want. Let's get that back. Also, it's interesting to get let Ochi take stuff back to the base, because Ochi returns to you after the after the, he's done. Okay, there are yellow Pikmin. There are also these things. These things are like flying uh, grubs. So we really don't like them. But that's okay. Getting more than our limit of Pikmin. I'm assuming it's only going to be the Pikmin types that we've had previously in here. I don't know if they're going to give us any new ones, but it would also be nice to get some more uh, Ice Pikmin. Now let me ride for this. Just because it might make this a little bit easier, maybe. Or not, or not, or not, or not. Get out of there. Need to be really careful about this. There we go. There's also another flying grub thing. They start off buried in the ground, but they can also fly, so... Oh, hello. No, 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 no. I don't want to lose Pikmin just yet. I mean, I don't want to lose Pikmin, but you know what I mean. It's inevitable, probably. Given all the things that they give you to make things easier. So I probably should have done that first. Also, that's concerning that that, um, was held up by web. Um, we're probably going to run into some spider enemies. Or a spider boss down here. That's concerning. Also, something else I found with Ochi is the, um, the way Ochi can jump allows us to actually get through areas of dungeons a little bit faster, which is nice. Because you, you, you know those metal walls that we had in the previous dungeon? Uh, and other dungeons like that in Pikmin 2. You can actually jump over those, which makes things a little bit quicker if there's a path 
to get to there. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in this game which is going to be interesting to learn. I think that's everything that we need here. I might just go get this even if I don't need it. Getting all these treasures back. I think that's everything on this floor. Yes. And that's already half of the dungeon done. We also have a lot of sparkling now. New gear available. So that's how we keep track of that. Did it get back? I think it did. Based on that sound, that little tink. That was a bad impression. Anyway, let's go deeper. Ominous. Very quiet. Also, we haven't reached a cauldron part of this place. It's also interesting that it needed us to have yellow Pikmin to go uh, deeper. I guess we can get... We got some yellow Pikmin in here to be able to go deeper, but still. Must be a castaway nearby. So I think we have to break these to get through. I like that that's how they look. Because there were hazard things like this in Pikmin 2 that you had to break to better progress. But I love the way that this is designed. It's like the poison geysers and other things like that. Also, it looks like the whole thing doesn't break. Like, it doesn't go to ash until the, all three of those things connected to it are gone. We're going to have to learn a lot of things. Also, what is this? This looks like a treasure. So let's get that. I might also pick these Pikmin out. The longer Pikmin stay on the ground, the more they bud and then flower. So, that's also something you else you can do. Especially in the area that we have in between days, basically. In the mornings. We can put some Pikmin there in the ground, and then we can have them flower and then come back to them. Also, wow, they actually all went onto that. That's nice. Maybe it works differently on the surface in the un and in the underground. Also, what is this? Slug? Slug. Let me slam the slug. Oh, oh, you're bad. You're bad. Oh, it's like that, but also it can pro-crush things. We need to be careful about that. Also, maybe it's underside as its exposed point. Did it heal? No, it didn't. Oh, get out of way. Get away. I'm going to have to go back for my reds because they're going to be what I need more than everything else. Probably. Please. That's the one thing that I struggle with at the moment. It's just the, the targeting and having two things right next to each other. That's alright. I'm sure there might be even some unlocks that make things better as time goes on as well. This cave feels so Pikmin 2-like, and I love it. Also, don't do that. We don't want that. Stop it. Stop it. How dare you. Anyway, let me also break this. to be careful. Also, it's a good thing I moved that because they would probably just go onto it after they finish the pile anyway. Also, love this. Love that camera angle for that as well. Oh, hey, there's the... Oh, a person. A castaway. We don't know who yet. Okay. So, why would you put yellows there? I mean, it's, it's obviously for... Uh, throwing high to get that person, but also... Why there? I don't know. Let's get these yellows. It should be enough for this person. I love the way that you can't tell who the captain is or the the castaway. Because the color is like faded while they're unconscious. I'm sure that's not going to come back to bite us in the butt at all. Grab all of you. I think I only need the reds anyway for the stuff over here. Oh, I guess there's a wall as well. We can break. Cast away. Checking ID info now. Let's hope once one of the rescue officers this time. Kingsley from Uji. Uji? Uji? Uh, he took his obsession with flowers to a new level when he traveled alone to this remote planet simply to see its net, uh, its unusual blossoms. 
What nope, the? this is another civilian castaway. A florist out here on its on his own, but why? Well, that's just ill-advised. It's up to you to rescue any castaways you find, Bluto Denochi. Thank you for the reminder, I guess. Get it. There we go. Let's try and get this stuff back as well. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Nope. Got it. It's fine. Need to be really careful. Also want to get these. Oh, that's a wall. Hang on. How much does this take? Three as well. Well, let me get rid of a few other things. As well. I might throw those up there just to keep them out of the way. And let's try and take out this enemy. Gonna have to learn how to fight it, so... Just gonna do that. Wait for it to turn upside down. And then charge with everything we have. Oh! Call off! Before it lands. Because it'll definitely crush Pikmin like that. Okay, also this is a, a base. I should have got this first, I just realized. Oh well. I, I can't remember. Do I have... Come here. Pick up scent. Go to base? I don't think I have the ability to... Sniff out ice pigment. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, go to base. Oh, he's doing that anyway. But he's gonna probably stay there now. I'm assuming this is just a enemy carcass that we don't need to worry about. Oh, so this is the end of the dungeon. Wow. I just realized. Once you arrived at the destination, let's switch. Grab all those. Uh, then I can also possibly... Can I tell us to go here to a... You know, another captain? I can. That's good to know. So there's a lot of things we can actually automate if we do it right. We need to move base here. Not that we really need to, but we can, so... Okay. So yeah, that's going to be very helpful if we actually master how to switch um, between our characters. Really don't need that. The tougher the enemy, also, the more value it has in Sparkling, I assume. As the value it was in Pikmin 2 with its money. That's everything. Let's go. 60 Pikmin, wow. Okay, Crackling Cauldron. Kingsley. Get an extra pup drive. All the sparkling discovered. 470. That's a lot. Building up quickly. Deceptive snack. That's a good one. Illuminated... Well, illumination goo. Is it like glow-in-the-dark paint or something? Dusty bed. That's a good one. Daughter of the Earth. Cookie of nibbled circles. The SS Chocolate. <laughs> I'm glad that the name stuff is just amazing in Pikmin games. Also, there's going to be so many treasures that there's just going to be so many good names. 